In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to do automatic panning in Reaper. Now, normally, if you want to automate the pan, you create an envelope and you write pan automation. That's fine if you want to do very specific things, like pan to the right for one section or pan to the left for another section. But if you want it to move in a pattern, it's better to do it with modulation. So let's do that together. I have a track in front of me here. Let me play what I have. So I have a bass synth here. Let me just solo it. It's kind of cool sounding, but to make it a little more interesting and dynamic, let's have it pan as well in a pattern. So to do that, go to the effects, add, and in our filter here, we're going to type in the word pan. That filters our list of plugins that just include the ones that have the word pan in them. So we're going to choose this one right here, Utility Volume Pan. And this is just a very simple plugin, Volume, Pan, and Pan Law. But that's all we really need because we're just modulating the pan. So we'll click this button so it becomes the last parameter touched. Then if we go up here, it shows Last Touched Pan. So these are the controls for pan. We'll choose Parameter Modulation, and that opens up this dialog where we could choose how to modulate it. Let's use an LFO. As you can see, it's already panning from the center to the right. If we move this over, our baseline modulation, it'll go from the left to the right. Let's see what that sounds like. Already, that's a pretty cool effect, but we could adjust that with the settings here. Again, right now it's going from left to right. If we adjust the strength, it can go from the left to the center. Right about here. And if we move the baseline value over, it'll go from the center to the right. Or we could have it hover around the center by moving it over. And how wide it is, is determined by how far the strength is. If we bring it in a little bit, it won't be very wide pan at all. So let's bring it back over here, bring the strength all the way up. Now it's panning from left to right. We could also adjust the direction. Right now, if you notice, every time I hit play, it starts on the left. We can reverse that to negative, move us to this side, it'll start on the right. Or we could have it start in the center, right here. So I'm going to put it back to positive. And you can adjust the speed here. So I'm going to go a lot slower. or faster. We can have it sync to the tempo of the song by hitting this button and typing in, say, two beats. Or four beats. Or one beat. Let's put this back to two beats. And we can adjust the shape right here. Right now it's a sine wave. So it moves smoothly from the left to the right. We could change that to a square wave and it's just gonna go hard left or right. Make this one beat. Or four beats. And again, we could bring that in by adjusting the strength. We 
could choose saw wave, triangle, and even random. There's one other thing I want to show you though. Instead of using the LFO to control the modulation, we can use the audio control signal. So the volume of the signal, in this case the synth, will control the left or right panning. Change the track audio channel to one and two. Now the volume of the sound is going to determine how far left or right it goes. So it's starting out on the right, and it's moving to the left on the quieter signal. So it's moving based on the volume of the signal, and we can reverse it right here. It's a pretty cool effect. So anyway, this is how you automate the pan or modulate the pan in Reaper. Hope you learned something and I'll see you next time. Thanks.